March 27th. Brittany had her license for 20 days. It was her and one of the girls from track and the amount of semi-traffic on our road is just unbelievable now. She wanted to cross to go into the middle median of 53 to go southbound. I was trying to answer my phone. I finally heard it ringing. And that's when I realized I had had several phone messages, several text messages from all the guys I work with at the firehouse, and that's when I realized there was something wrong. Uh, the, the, the truck hit Brittany on her side. She was driving the truck, it hit her on her side. She took the brunt of the force. Being in the fire service, you know, what, you know what's happening when you hear uh, your daughter's been hit by a semi. I knew signs that were taking place that nobody had to tell me what it was. I knew what it meant. They immediately started treating her from the time that she came through the emergency room doors. I stayed at the hospital the entire, I believe it was 19 days she was at St. Joe's. Dr. Hrzanski wanted to take her to surgery, remove part of her skull bone to relieve the pressure. Had her head shaved, had the lines drawn on her head and her pressures came down and they didn't have to do the surgery. This morning we had uh, an appreciation breakfast uh, for our community as well as the emergency medical service providers. They take care of these patients in the field and then they bring them in very promptly and to a facility which is equipped and is able to handle these kind of complex neurological problems and neurosurgical problems. So inside the emergency room, the pressure was initially 60. 60 means death is coming. I guess she uh, probably opened her eyes, took a look at the knives and did not want it to be cut. On. It's a great example of a multidisciplinary care starting for the fact that she was taken out of uh, that car on time, brought here, area was controlled. Without any one of those components, she would not be here and she would not be doing as good. I think her treatment at Presence Health made the difference in how she turned out. I truly believe I know two physicians that walk on water, in my own opinion. A lot of her outcome was the treatment that she received there. Presence Health, St. Joe's, just unbelievable. Uh, the staff there, Everybody just worked according to plan. You know, we're all still standing here in amazement. It's just going like, holy smokes, this is great. I would say thank you so much for keeping me here on Earth, for keeping me alive. It makes me feel so special.